It's Sam, can you come here for a second? It's Stop. Bitch be gone. Do you really need Instagram likes this bad? <laughs> I guess I should vlog. I haven't done that in a while. Wait, is there? Oh, there's a light. It's Valentine's Day. There's no light on you, though. Now we got the lights in here. It's Valentine's Day. Sam and got we're going on a cute little sick. trip. Sam got me a cute cupcake mm -hmm. that said, I love you, gay boy. And now we're going to Bed Bath & Beyond to buy candles because <laughs> this is what it gets better is. We're going to Bed Bath & Beyond and then we're going to get soup. We're literally a fucking old elderly married couple. Let's just go to Bed Bath & Beyond and then get soup. We're going to get... That sounds like exactly like what my grandma did before she died. We're going to get Artisan Ramen. Artisan Ramen. You soup. I'm seeing a lot of the Beyond, but I'm not seeing a lot of the bed in the bath. This looks like Ashlyn in a comforter. Please get up. Are these $500? Why would I spend $500 for something I'm just going to get come on? We found fucking candles. I'm a fucking candle vlogger. Midnight Jasmine. I'm buying a comforter and candles. Oh God, I'm a fucking mimosa. housewife. Ooh, mango yeah. peach salsa. Ew, that smells it's, like vape juice. It's vanilla cupcake. It smells Fuck like my fucking vape juice. It's Only disgusting. you would know what vape juice smells like. Candle baby. Not after you did a fucking yoga pose in the hot. Like <laughs> Good morning-ish. Okay, it's 4 p.m. But we got coffee, so it, it's technically morning, kind of, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, still, all, it's all like it's relative. Re it's relative. Me. I am a week smoke free. Today, I have not smoked cigarettes for a week, and I'm very proud of myself, and I know none of you fucking care, but I'm very proud of myself, and that's a thing. So, it is 20 gay team. We only smoke in flesh cigars out here. That means penis. Okay, so this is generally something I don't do. One, because it's boring as fuck. Two, because I don't want psychos finding my house, which has happened every single time. So I'm gonna do a house tour, but this shit got security, so I don't give a fuck. We got, we got a fucking security house. security cameras, we got Rottweilers, we got motherfucking cannons. We, we have cannons, we have moat with alligators and shit. Look at that. Anyways, so I'm just gonna do a house tour, because we got a fucking house, bitch. And we're very excited. This is my room. As you can see, I hung Christmas lights because I am a Tumblr bitch and I have style. I love like art and like design and like, you know, like just feng shui, obviously. That's the bathroom. There's rose petals all around the bathtub. Not because Sam did something cute and sweet, uh, because he did a photo shoot in here last night. Who's that handsome man? Nobody. A snapback collection because I am dating a fuck boy. I have a fucking steam shower. Sam painted that. Gucci mansion, he got a crystal, cause Sam obviously. There's a literal lock and key for Gucci's cage. Like, bitch, what? This is my workstation where I don't edit, clearly. So this is my room. Eddie's eating a fucking another towel for no reason. My balcony. My bed, obviously not made. With lube, jewel pods, Bitch Be Gone spray, and more lube that's cotton candy flavored. That pretty much sums up my entire life. Uh, uh, there's so many fucking crystals and candles. Sage, because we had a fucking little gay demon. And not like in a YouTuber, like, oh my God, we had a ghost, blah, blah, blah type shit. Like, we accidentally low-key like summoned some shit into this house. I don't particularly believe in ghosts and shit, but like, this shit was even freaking me out. That vlog is going up this week because we actually got like footage and shit of like weird shit happening in the house and like, it's a it's a weird story. Even if you don't believe in ghosts, like it's still like a weird fucking story and it's interesting as fuck. We got a big ass kitchen. We got a shack. <laughs> another balcony. The sun is blinding. I don't even know if the camera can see. There's not really that much to show. Just, just normal shit in a house, like a fucking coffin. We started art on the coffin. I did this and Sam did that. We did art like this, you know, normal shit. And then Sam comes through with this. I am gonna not be monetized because of that dick tree with a vagina? I don't know what that is. Fucking Valentine's Day balloon. Not for me, for his photo shoot. Sam's little production studio and his woke station is what he calls it. Don't forget us. the woke station. I'm not forgetting the woke station, trust me. Very powerful. Why do you need a crystal that big? Why do you, why, just a diffuser? He's got a fountain with more crystals hanging. I am woke. You are not woke, you are a white bitch. I'm woke. You're a white girl. Come on, fat ass. Come on, fat ass. Oh yeah, scurry down those stairs. This is the backyard. This is where Patty does most of her bad things. Did we do anything bad today? No, we were good today. You little butt wagon. Come play with me. Come, I got a towel. Oh, now you want to come play with me. Oh, okay. But, oh shit. Nobody else has dogs like this, but like Patty has like tons of toys, like tons of them, but only wants to play with towels. Like what the fuck? Ready? Go get it. Go get it. Like, 
She doesn't give a fuck about that toy. But I got a towel. Oh shit. Oh yeah. What did a towel ever do to you? Why do you hate them so much? This is literally the calmest that Patty's ever been. I say this as she's dragging me. Those of you who don't know Patty's backstory, when I first got her over a year ago, <laughs> she was like fucking just so mean and like crazy and like was eating everything and destroying my fucking life. But now she's just eating everything and not really destroying my life too much anymore. And she's eating towels for some fucking reason. I don't know what her hatred towards towels is. She won't play with any toys. She only likes things that are big enough for her to fuck as she chews on. Uh, relatable. When I first got her, she would literally bite everything. Ow, stop it. Hi, puppy. Hi, puppy. Yeah, thank you so much. Okay, okay, I'm just trying to talk about you. I'm trying to, I'm trying to talk about She was used as a puppy mill breeder, and since English Bulldogs can't really have that many litters of puppies because they have to have C-sections, they end up just like, <laughs> yeah, you tell them, say no puppy mills. And so since she was like old and used up, they got rid of her and she went to a drug dealer and I didn't find any of this out until after I adopted her, but she went to a drug dealer. She ended up in a rescue. A family adopted her and couldn't take care of her cause she's wildin' cause she's a little wild dog. So they put her up for adoption and did not tell me that she was this wild. They gave her Benadryl when I first got her to calm her down. So when I originally like got her, she was like a big droopy, like fat dog for the first like four hours. And I just thought that's how she was, but she's not, she's a psychopath. But she's getting better. It's been like dope as fuck to like watch her like go from being crazy and like to the point where like she would have to be in a cage because she was just too scared of people. She's just a very nervous dog and she can't be around like huge groups of people. And like watching her go from like not being able to be around like two people to being around like groups of like 30 people and just chilling is like, fucking insane and it's so cute and I'm so proud of her. Like, bitch, this is a great view. It's a great view. It's a great view. Oh yeah, give me that steaming hot footage, baby. Oh yeah. Oh, thank you for that. I come back in the room and Patty is eating lube. What, what, I was just talking about how good you've become. Why do you gotta do that? But there you go. There's my house tour. I'm a white Tumblr girl. I got lights on my walls. I just wanted to share my new house because I'm very excited and very proud of myself. If you guys enjoyed the playlist I used to do, I redid the entire thing. It's all brand new songs. It's all below. What are you doing? Why do you look so majestic right now? This looks like some National Geographic shit. Oh, he gonna bite my fucking finger. I have a snake crawling up my leg. Today's song of the day is called Blonde by Water Parks. They're a great band. They deserve way more recognition. I'm doing a collab with them. I'm very excited. So I added them to the playlist. I want you guys to check them out because it's gonna be a dope fucking song. Say goodbye. Say, go say goodbye. People are only here to see you. They don't give a fuck about me. Here, Gucci. You can just do the outro. You wanna just do the outro? Today's song of the day is by Water Parks. They're a great band and I love them a lot. And if you wanna hear the song, you can hear it on the playlist below and also right now. At least it's all about you. I think the bonds are done with fun. At least it's all about you.